Welcome to Firma Dive. In today's video, we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to build an amazing card section in Firma without writing any line of code. So, shout out to onassembly.com. This is the website I want to show you, and I really like their their design, their card design. So this is where it starts from here and uh this is basically the header part and then this is the cards that i think are really good so as you can see when i hover inside we have these beautiful interactions and when i also hover on this other card we have the same nice interaction and it comes across the all all the cards so as you can see also when i hover here we have this nice interaction which is pretty interesting so this is quite a modern way of displaying your website and you can pick up some idea and see how you can spice up your website or your future websites if you're new to frema you can sign up with a link in the description below and let's get this started. My name is Joe and this is Freema Dive. Let's get started. This is my Freema workspace and um, what we have here, I just have like basically four sections. I have my navigation, which is this top part here. And then I also have my hero section, which is this part. It's just a placeholder. And then I have this other section here, which I'm gonna call it the card section. So this is the part where we're gonna use to place in the cards. And then I have this final part. So, so I'm gonna go directly and click this card section. And I'm gonna hold F on my keyboard to draw a frame or you can right click and click here frame but I prefer I am gonna hold F on my keyboard and I'm gonna draw a frame and as you can see we have this frame outside the section card so we need to come and cut it and paste it inside this section card like that and then now we want to adjust the sizing that is the width and the height of this frame so i just want the size to have a relative width of a hundred percent so basically this means that it will take a hundred percent of this you know this desktop width which is here to here and then notice it can't really get to this part because we have a padding all round of 40 pixels so we have a pixel from here to here and uh, then i also want to make sure that the height uh, of this is set to i'm gonna put it to 960 okay so that's the first dimensions and this is where we're gonna place in the cards and then i'm gonna hold f on my keyboard again sorry i'm gonna Hold F on my keyboard and make sure you've highlighted this frame. I'm gonna draw a frame here. And then as you can see, if I put some color here by clicking fill, as you can see this frame is freeform. So I want it to be layout or to be you know to, to have a layout inside this frame. So I'm gonna click here the parent frame, which is this frame, and I'm gonna add a layout to it, which is gonna change into a stack. And then I'm gonna click to the frame inside here and I'm gonna change the width to 460. And then now this is where we're gonna place in our first cards. So then I'm gonna hold F on my keyboard again and I'm gonna draw a frame inside this frame. So we have a frame inside a frame. And then what I want, I wanna go back to its parent. The parent of this white one is this red one. And then I'm gonna make sure that we have a layout too. And then now I'm gonna go back to the child, which is this one. And this is where we're gonna place it our image or we can our content, for example. Let's call it content. And then I'm gonna make sure the width is set to fill. I want it to fill the whole stack here. 
and then i'm just gonna leave the height to any height and so now i want to go back to the stack which is the parent and i want to make sure the direction is from top to bottom so that means when i duplicate this it's going to go down it like that which is good and then i want to now go back to the stack which is the parent frame and i want to set the height remember we didn't set the height here I want to set this height to fill this available space so i'm gonna click a height and i put it to fill and then i'm just gonna go back to the child again and i'm gonna set the two childs to fill the available space and then now because this is white and this background is also white that's why you can't see it so i'm gonna get rid of this color like that and then i'm also going to go back to this red one which as you can see it still has the red fill and i'm gonna kill the fill like that so now we have the first column so this is the column that will simulate this side so this from here this part and this other part okay so now we need to create this other column so i'm gonna go to this column i'm gonna call it the column right i'm gonna call it column right and then i'm just gonna click d Control d on my keyboard and duplicate it and then you also want to make sure that the parent frame which is this is is let's call this the container let's call this the card container make sure the container has a direction from left to right like that which is okay and then now we have this as our right and this we sorry this is the left so we have this as the left and we have this as the right and then as you can see in our cards we have different heights so i'm gonna click here uh, this content and i'm gonna come and say i'm gonna use a fractional height and this means that if i put here instead of this is one fr if i put two fr it will take two times sorry I'm gonna i need to put it on the height so i need to come to the height and put it to fr so this means that it will be twice the height of this okay and we notice we also need to have two cards here so i can just come here and duplicate this and as you can see they take the available space so this is the importance of putting fill so i've duplicated this card and it has taken the available space now i just need to drag it on top like that so as you can see we have a very nice cards placed inside so perhaps if i really want to tweak the height a bit perhaps i want to make this a bit smaller i can come here to the height make sure it's still fill, and i'm gonna just make it 2.7 so 0.7 is a lower height so it's a fractional height so it is taking 0.7 fractional height of this total height and then this one is taking two times and then this one is taking one so assume these to be fractions and they take uh, the space regarding on the fractional value so so the next step is we're gonna click the container and i'm gonna hold ctrl k on my keyboard to create a component so i'm gonna right click it and i'm gonna create a component i'm gonna call it sorry cancel to make sure you create the right component which is this container or you can right click it and click here create component and then you can just call it container i'm gonna click create so this is where we're gonna do the magic so here i want to create a couple of variants and each variant will have a different state so i'm gonna start with this first variant and i'm gonna create so since we have one two three four five we need to have five variants so i'm just gonna create another one and another one and another one now we have one one two three four five actually we need to have five variants six variants sorry so i'm gonna create six so this is going to be our normal state and then these are going to be our other variants. so we're gonna have six variants and so now here we just need to play with different states and so i'm gonna come to the first one 
and this is going to be the normal one this is the one that we are gonna see without any form of interaction and then we want to put in so we want to say what happens when someone clicks this first box so i'm gonna hold l on my keyboard or i can click this zap icon and i can drag this arrow to variant 2 and i'm gonna position in interaction on mouse end up and then i'm gonna come to this card and i'm gonna change the color to any random color like that so and then i'm gonna click this red card and i'm gonna click this zap icon and drag it back to primary and make sure mouse sleeve is toggled on so we're gonna do the same i'm gonna make sure you come back to your primary and you want to hold l on your keyboard or you can click this zap so you're gonna drag this arrow to variant three and then make sure you set it to mouse enter so when mouse enters this part this part here we want it to go to variant three so in variant three we want to make sure this card here is set to a color like green so we can play any color and then we're gonna do the same for this other section here so i'm gonna hold l on my keyboard and i'm gonna sorry i'm gonna just you know i'm gonna i'm gonna hold l on my keyboard and i'm gonna drag it to this part i'm gonna set it to mouse end up and then i'm gonna come here to this one and i'm gonna change the color to any random color like purple and then i remember i think i forgot to put an interaction on this one so i just need to hold l on my keyboard and return it back so when mouse leaves the green it, it needs to go back to the primary so i'm gonna do the same for these other variants nice so what we have here is we just have we have six tapes and remember this is the original one and these are the variants so what happens here we've just added an interaction when we hover or when the mouse enters on a specific box we wanted to change it to a specific variant okay so for example when the mouse enters here we directed it to variant 2 and when the mouse leaves variant 2 we want it to go back to the original state so now when i view the page as you can see if i hover here you can see we have this nice interaction over here we have the green we have the yellow and we have the blue so it works well so if i come to now my website and i view it as you can see i can if i want to come here it changes to red and here it changes to green here it changes to yellow here it changes to blue and when i get out okay so as you can see here when i get out it remains blue this means that we need to go back to the component and change mouse sleeve to back to the original state so make sure you're keen on this section so i'm gonna go back i'm gonna go to the blue one which is this one and i'm gonna make sure that we have i hold l and i drag it to the original one and put the interaction to mouse leave okay so now it works well so if i view my website as you can see now it works really well so that's that's pretty much it and you can you know you can just check it out yourself i'm gonna leave the remix file in the description it's free you can pick it up and you know mess around with this remix file so that's pretty much it so as you can see we have not really created the initial one but the idea is the same what we have here is just we just have the images here or different states and it's just like it, it's the same is the same logic it's only that here we have the contents and different contents inside okay so that's pretty much it so if you want to check it out find the remix in the description thank you for watching and see you in the next video